here's your walk around. I should have made this video a while back. We'll start off in the basement area or the garage. You have the, of course you have the Anderson hitch that comes with it. If you want it, you can have it. Uh, you got the blocks, extension cords, hoses, extra blocks, stinky slinky. Uh, you do have extra lights in the cargo area. They are on a motion sensor. Uh, there are two of them in there. You have your satellite hookup cable satellite. You got some outlets. Um, you do have two 30 pound propane tanks. One on each side, obviously. Uh, there's a isolator switch in the other side that takes it from one side or the other. Uh, you have power plugs outside. Uh, turn toters going with it batteries uh, everything is uh, I believe it's it's generator ready uh, don't quote me on that one uh, there's definitely plenty of room to put one in there you got your moride ball in the front look a nose cone no cracks no nothing in the nose cone you can see the awnings are still nice and white Continue on around. We do have lights underneath the here. This here. Outside lights. I don't know if you'll be able to see these in the daylight. But it does have the orange lights on the top. They're pretty nice in the evening time. Alright, continue around. Look on the back side. You have your two slide outs. Uh, oil and wipe these down just about every trip we take keep the roofs nice and clean uh, so the propane tank come around to the other garage there's your water hookups it's very nice and easy you do have an outside hookup with a hose on it a little quick disconnect hose makes it really nice Ooh, a little water in there still uh, so you got your tank dumps water heater everything is winterized right now uh, so the water heater is propane and electric uh, you do have your electric hookup this is a this is a 50 amp camper since you do have two air conditioning systems on it you got your large slide out this is the big family room slide out Let's see here nice looking Nice looking Goodyear Endurance tires. No Chinese May Pops. <laughs> Got the other side of the slide out. Come around to the back. You have Furion camera system. Uh, I'll show you that there are cameras in the front also. If you get a little motion sickness, apologize. Climb up on the ladder, heat up on the roof. You see all the roof. You get the satellite, everything is uh, solar ready. You have your connections there, your nose cap. It fixed a little spot right over here. It was a little one that the caulking was cracking a little bit. And this side right here had a little crack in there too. I'm gonna keep that sealed up. I say I watch it every time we go out. Let's look at it. Awnings still look nice and clean. We scrub those off every time before we shut the, the topper up. There's the top of the slide out. Let's show you the other slide outs too. Main slide out, bedroom slide out. I don't know if you get too close to the edge here. I don't want to take too much of a tumble. Yeah, we'll walk back down. And again, apologize, I'm gonna make it dizzy. <laughs> Trying to make this all one video. Do have a receiver it is not towable but you can use it for bike racks and other things like that uh, i have a gas hookup lp gas hookup in the back sure other slide out i'm trying to get some nice wide shots so you can see everything out there 
and of course my little little beauty mark there yeah. uh, I have not tried buffing this out or anything uh, it is it's my neighbor's rear view mirror so it's, it's like a plastic you can almost scratch it off with your thumb and yeah, this little one's got a little bit of dirt on that slide out on him. This one's still in really good shape there. All right, you got more ride steps. Just below the bottom, really nice. Nice handle on them. So we'll go inside the camper. So you do have a touch screen. We can run all your awnings and your leveling slides and all that kind of stuff. And you do have the backup manual buttons, which I kind of like. So you have two of them that. You got your light switches, and all the light switches are a on off. If you touch them, it turns the lights on and off. Or if you touch and hold it, it will dim them. And bring them back up, which is really, really nice. So you have your island, your refrigerator side. Couch does fold out to a bed. Uh, this one does have the two tables, the dinette set. There are two more chairs that come with this. They're up underneath the bed. These chairs actually lift up. You got a little storage underneath of them. The table, let's see if I can do this one handed. Not real easily. So that table does slide out and extend. So you can sit four people and play cards nice and easy there. Uh, I did install a extra purifier drinking water system uses the you know it's kind of hard to see but the single stage filter in the bottom makes it really nice you don't have to carry drinking water with you all the time uh chairs they do recline all the way out um i don't have it plugged in so i turn on the tvs and things like that uh you got the big tv that's your exterior lights or storage above the the couch uh, the TV, of course, it has the all the Furion equipment for the stereo, CD player, DVD player, uh, and all the speakers. Uh, the TV does pull out, but one-handed, kind of hard. So the TV does pull out, and you can get behind the TV, and there's storage and shelves and all kinds of cool stuff back there. The um, fireplace. Does turn on, set different lights and stuff that's on it, but that's basically a big, like an electric heater. Which in the winter time we've been camping and it's been about 40 degrees and it's kept this camper really nice and warm. You got a pantry with motion sensor lights on it. You got a little mirror door. Uh, you got your stove area, microwave. Really nice microwave. Cooks popcorn like a champ. Gas stove, got little fancy lights. I apologize for the shakiness. So you do have the oven, gas oven. It does have a drawer, pull out drawer for storage. Uh, even comes with preloaded if you guys want all the utensils and stuff like that. There's some different stuff in there, full pots and pans and things. Uh, you got a little storage on the side. Refrigerator. The freezer is a electric in LP. Let's see if I can get back to get the whole thing in there. I apologize, I'm not a very good cinematographer here. <laughs> um, this is the farm style, I believe is what they call the, the look of it. So you got a little coffee nook. I keep all my stuff there. The cabinets above, a little pantry. Pantry is nice. You can open it up. It's got little coat hooks on there, or you can open the arm up, drop the shelf down, and now you got a shelf in the middle if you want to store things that way. I'm sorry, trying to make this somewhat quick video. Uh, got the bathroom, full porcelain toilet, no plastic toilet, stand up shower, water hose, little skylight. Again, you got a big pantry. It's the full depth of the shower. Let's store lots of towels, medicine cabinet. Let's 
sink, and of course storage underneath of that. Walk into the master bedroom. We have your queen bed. We did upgrade to a memory foam mattress. Uh, you do have a separate air conditioner up front. Uh, the one in the main cabin is a whisper quiet unit. It is super, super quiet. You can watch TV and not be bothered by the air conditioner running. Uh, there are charger ports, DC and USB ports all over the place in this thing. Uh, it is washer dryer ready. There's some hookups in the front. I believe you take the shelf out and the washing machine fits right inside of there. So I've been told. I uh, do have some nice mirrors in here. Open it up. We can kind of see that the shelves inside of there. Looks like we're including a Swiffer there too. Bed with the lights behind your head. The other side of the closet opens up and there's shelving. Let's see if I can back up and get all the shelving. Really nice shelving to keep all your shoes and things. The uh, bed does lift up also. You do have stores. That's the stores of the two uh, chairs underneath the bed. So you got a lot of storage. Everything's got storage and storage and storage. Um, as you can see, it's a little toasty in here but you got your separate air conditioner thermostat up top and I set another one down here ceiling fan and you can see the intakes for the uh, AC unit uh, and then all the vents uh, this main unit does ventilate throughout the whole camper uh, it does go up in the front and it keeps everything nice and cool we very rarely do we ever have to turn on the one in the master bedroom uh, you have all the books and catalogs and all the stuff in there and the Furion system that goes in your car. I think that's about it. That's a long enough video, huh? All right. Thank you.